if you are new here to my channel, my name is Caitlin and I make videos about <laughs> wife life, motherhood, and lifestyle. So if that's something that you are interested in, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and show this mama some love. Today's video is super fun because and I actually- to make um, Valentine boxes. Yes, we are making a really fun and super creative Valentine bo box for both um, my daughter and my son. I will introduce or I'll let them introduce themselves here in a second. Um, but Valentine's Day, guys, is next week. So um, we're definitely getting in the spirit and um, with them having parties at school, like Valentine's parties, they have to make a box. So when all of their friends, their classmates, um, give them a little Valentine or a little candy, things like that, that they have somewhere to put them. So um, we could have just gone with a normal like shoe box thing, but um, we wanted to be a little creative and have a little fun with it. And um, to be honest, we've never made one like this before. So um, we're not really sure how it's gonna turn out. So hopefully, wish us luck. Um, but we have all the things that I think that we need. Um, I guess as we go, we'll see if we need anything else. Um, but <laughs> I will let my kids introduce themselves. Um, this is my son, what's your name? Okay. What is it? Okay. Say it both. LJ, this is LJ. LJ, how old are you? Five. Five, and what grade are you in? You're in? Preschool. Preschool, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So LJ is five and he's in preschool. And then we have my daughter. Hello, my name is Kaya and I am nine years old and I'm in fourth grade. Yes. So this is Kaya, she's nine and she's in fourth grade. Um, so pretty much guys, <laughs> um, I definitely wanted to have them both make boxes for their school, but since they are such, um, they have such different ages or they're in different grades, um, I want to, and there's boy, girl, you know, and they're into different things. I just thought it would be easier for them both to make the same box. Um, which is really is not a box, as you guys will see. I'll kind of explain here in a second. But um, so I think we found the perfect like unisex um, or just like it could be any age related um, type of Valentine's box. And you guys want to tell them what the box is supposed to look like when we're done? It is going to look like that, but it's going to be a gumball machine. Yes. So. We are going to try to make a gumball machine, um, mm -hmm. a Valentine's box that looks like a gumball machine. So we're super excited. Um, as you can see, I kind of got started just to kind of show you, like this would be the top, obviously, where the gumballs sit. And then as you can see here, we kind of got... Um, cotton balls. They're yeah. actually called pom-poms that look like gumballs. We could have done real gumballs, but one reason why I thought not to do gumballs, I thought to do the pom-poms would be... Um, is that they're a lot lighter and I felt like mm -hmm. if the kids had to carry the to gumballs school. to school that would be kind of heavy. So yeah. Um, yeah. basically I'm just going to kind of show you the um, items that you need to create this gumball uh, Valentine's box. Mm -hmm. And the first item would be can the... Can we put candy in it? No. Well your friends will put candy in it um, at school. <laughs> You know, hopefully, <laughs> if you've got friends. I know. Everyone, <laughs> you know every, everyone has to give everyone. Yeah, something. you're right. Everyone has to give everyone some something, like a card or a valentine. Um, that's or the fair and or, the right thing to do, or right? A card you're with friends with everybody, right? Yeah. Not with everybody. I think I have 16 friends. Wow. 16. Oh, that's a lot. Like Way more than mommy. <laughs> <laughs> Way more okay. than me. So I was going to tell them, you guys, like what all the seconds. items that we have to make the gumball valentine box. So the first item is this plastic fish bowl. 
Now, guys, I went to like four different stores to find this plastic fishbowl. So I'm going to link in the description box down below um, all the items that you need and where I picked them up at. Um, I'm sure some of these things you can get at different stores, but this is just where I found them um, most recently. So you have a plastic fishbowl and then inside the fishbowl you're going to have, you can either use real gumballs or just like colorful pom-poms. They definitely look and feel like cotton balls, but they're the pom-poms like that you can get at a craft store. Um, again, I will link below where I found these ones at specifically. I was looking for specific colors because, um, okay. um, if you look at a gumball machine, like I will like enter a picture, um, about of the gumball machine that I was like inspired by um then you pretty much have all these colors except for red i didn't go with red guys i i chose every color but red so you could definitely add red as well and then um the other item that you need would be a quaker oats well it doesn't have to be quaker oats um just an oat um container so um we're actually gonna empty out the oats i forgot to do that we gotta <laughs> empty out the oats so that way this is not so heavy and then and, we're gonna end up cutting like a hole for your friends to put their valentines in, and then this would then be. Um, it's like we can just like, open, go it, like open this. Cheating. Yeah, I'll show you how we're gonna do it. What else we got, guys? So um, I did pick up some gorilla glue, but you could also and use just like a glue stick. Glue markers. stick. I felt like gorilla glue or like some sort of super glue would be better, no, just so that I know for sure it's that. gonna stay on. Um, and then you also need like a topper. I totally just found this, guys, when I was shopping and you could really use so many different things. Like cupcakes. But look, show them, LJ. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna have to have a topper on top of your, you're gonna flip it this way. Like just like, just like, like yeah. Like on top of your gumball machine, cause then down here it's going to be red. So the red mm -hmm. topper with the red bottom. Yeah. Um, so I just picked up cupcake liners um red ones for that and we're not and we making got, cupcakes we're not making cupcakes not today and we are we have some markers we, so um we do uh, have markers and really you can use any color i'm just kind of going really gray. off of what a real gumball machine looks like which has like more of like and grays me. and blacks and um but i got the red too just because it's valentine's and i don't know if we're going to use it or not but you're gonna need scissors because you're going to be cutting. Um, I'll show you and yeah, what we're going to be cutting. Always have a grown up to help. Always yes. have a grown up. That's very good advice, Elsa. So, yes, always yeah. have a grown up. If you are a child, you yeah. help have a grown up help you to um, cut with scissors. Very good advice. And then I think the last thing that you're gonna need um, would be some construction paper. I'm sure you could probably use maybe something else but this is just like, the first thing kind I of thought. like foam paper maybe maybe foam but i didn't know how well that would stick and <laughs> i don't know honestly we'll just we're gonna find out how well this even works the red is to wrap the bottom of the gumball machine and then i got gray for like the little dial when you have to mm -hmm. um, put your quarter in and stuff so we might even draw like a little quarter i don't know we might see how creative we can get but are you guys ready to start making your gumball machines? Yes! All right, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing that I did mention um, that you would need to do is actually empty your oat container. Yes, empty it. So that way... Um, and that, that, that's the same with, same with mine. It's yep, we emptied both of them out. So that way, oh, it smells so good. we, we can, have some candy in you there. can fit all the candy and Valentine's in it that your little hearts desire. Okay, so that's first. And then, it smells so good. also I was thinking um, that when we cut um, your slit to where your Valentine's are gonna go into, um, you wanna make sure that you have some, like make sure you know that it, it will be able to fit the Valentine's. So I just got, some of LJ's little Valentine candy um, to kind of use as, you know, a reference, I guess, to make the slit. And this is how you put it. Nope, I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna make a, a slit, like a hole right here, so your friends can drop it in the hole. And you wanna make sure that the hole is kind of up higher because if it's too low and then your friends are trying to 
stuff it in the bottom, there's not going to be much room. Whereas yeah. if they can stuff it in here, then they have room for it to fall down and like kind of fill up. Does that make sense? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So also, um, we are going to use the lid part, keep the lid on, and that's just going to go at the bottom. Um, so that we can like, oh, like, yes. Like, so after their Valentine's party, you guys mm -hmm. come home, then you can just open up the lid and all your Valentine's and candy will fall right out just like that. So now before we actually wrap the um, oats container with the construction paper, we want to cut the slip first because if we wrap it, then we're going to be cutting the container and the paper and it's just going to be harder that way. So. Also, I realized that you would probably be better off having like a box cutter, which I do think I have one, I'm just not sure where it's at right now. So I'm gonna either use a knife or scissors. So definitely if you're a child, have your parents helping you. Um, please don't be using these things without them. Um, I think I'm gonna go in with a knife first. So you guys need to sit still, so I'm not going to hurt you. And I'm actually going to use this like light blue, kind of like a, like cut of like right against that line. Hmm. Kind of a good idea, right? Hopefully this goes as planned. Oh. stab in there is kind of hard but I think once you put it in then just kind of do it like a little bit at a time and again I'm going to it's so loud take it along this line here obviously you might have a different oats container than I do but it's fine the Quaker Oats brand um, is still really cheap so um, if you want to just follow the lines on this container, it's a pretty good idea. Okay, do you think that this will fit, LJ? Let's do some measuring here. Well, can I try yeah, to put it in? Can. It's big. Okay, it's watch out. Can you, can you step back a little? So now I'm basically just, I kind of did it until as far as I wanted it to go. And then um, you could always like stop early and then kind of test it out and see if that's big enough and then go out. farther, bigger if you need to, but you don't want to go too big because then you can't go smaller after that. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I want to eat this because it sounds good. so good. Now I feel like... Coming back's a little bit harder, so I'm gonna kind of hold on to the piece that's kind of like already coming off. Just so I have con more control, I guess. Oh my gosh, that's huge. Oh, You kind of just like stab it. Yeah, it's really not that hard. It's kind of like using a box cutter, really. But it's just like a little bit harder. Just be very careful. So, I was able to cut this slit out. I don't know how well they can see it, but. Okay, I can. No, it's fine. So, go ahead. So, pretend like you are giving your friend a It's kind of like an open window. It's like a mail thing. Go ahead, try it. Good job. It worked. And then you can just open it. You'll just take your lid and all your Valentine's. Oh, and treats will come out, and so maybe so. even some oats. <laughs> if you I'm sure by the time there. we're done with this, they'll all be all Yeah. Okay, so now that we've got LJ's done, we have to do Kaya's. Yeah. Okay, so now that we have cut our slits um, for where the Valentines will be placed in, um, it Big is enough time. That this glue can it is time to cover the 
containers with the red construction paper. So I just kind of drew a rectangle that I thought would be about the same size as the little slit that we cut into the oat container. Um, and then we'll just try to cut more if needed. So I lined it up and it fits pretty good. Um, it's not perfect, but we will take it. But as you can see, the bottom is a little longer than what we need it to be. So we're gonna go ahead and fix that by just trimming up the bottom a little bit. Okay, but now we have to cut the top because as you can see the top is longer than the actual Way container. Longer. So let's try cutting the top off. How's your candy? Good. Yeah. Do you know how to eat it? Okay, so this is the time where you're gonna get out the glue. Now, these are glue. You could use super glue or the um, glue stick, but I'm afraid that the glue stick just won't stay. It won't stay. So that. I'm gonna. We're gonna try the super glue. Okay. So I haven't actually tried this. Oh, jeez. You just like squirt it out. Like, you just squirt it out of here. Okay. There's bubbles. There's also a brush. Mm -hmm. I wanted to use the brush. Where is the This brush? glue has like a squeeze top, but it also has a brush. Mm -hmm. If you open up down here, that's what I was oh, looking yeah. for. Oh, yeah. I just cracked my leg. Okay, so. Um, I'm just going to make sure that this is really lined up where I want it. Okay, so basically I put super glue on the edge on the inside here and I lined it up the best that I could and I just laid it onto the O container. So this side, as you can see, is glued on and now this side is just flapping. I just have to put some glue on this side and then it'll be covered.
now it is glued down to. No, I'm gonna wash my hands just in case the glue got on me. Okay. Because like I don't want that sticking on me. To the container, as you can see, um, we have the front part done. Now we just need to do the back. Okay, so now we have our gumball machine base finished. Basically, we just needed to cover that O container with red construction paper after we cut the little slip there. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the same exact thing to Kaya's and then we will move on to what's next. So I just took that gray construction paper and I just kind of drew um, like a little like pretend um, like if you were to get gum, the little knob, mm -hmm. the little knob yeah, on the, the little... gumbo machine. No, and then the bottom, I didn't really take too much time on this guys. The bottom it's is just, just like a, a little, a little flap for the gumball machine, the gumballs to come out of. But they're not actually getting gum. So that way it just looks more realistic <laughs> rather than just like plain. Kai, you're gonna do yours and then yeah. I'll do LJ. <laughs> okay, so we have the bottom pieces to our gumball machines and we just really have a couple more steps left. And that would be um, to make sure you put your 
fishbowl and gumballs on top of your oat container. So originally when I first thought, when I came across this project, I was thinking that we were gonna have to glue the fish bowl to the container. However, I think that it actually fits. We might have to put this upside down so we can. I think it fits perfectly. Hold on. Oh, that's a good idea. Just like put it upside down. Yeah. Great idea, Kaya. I was not thinking about that. Right. So, yeah. Um, you can actually just leave your fishbowl like this so that way these pom-poms don't fly everywhere. <laughs> and then just be careful because the red paper might kind of... Uh, yeah, I can't get this off. So maybe wait and let Mommy do it. You might have to like cut the, a little bit of the paper off so it... You might just have to give it a little... Okay, so the tricky part is the red construction paper because you don't obviously want it to like mess up. Oh my gosh, what do you guys think? Looks great. But we got it on. We don't have to glue the fishbowl. Um, as long as you have it on good enough, like make sure to check all the edges, make sure it's on tightly, um, then it really just holds on really tight. So as you can see, I think it's looking really good. And all we're gonna need to do really to finish is to top it with the little just, cupcake holder. Just like put this. I was going to glue it on. Yeah. And then mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so we finally finished our gumball Gum machines. machines. What do you guys think? Good. Yeah? Thumbs up? You like you like the gumball machines? And you think that your friends are gonna like to put their Valentines in the little cool. slit there? It's, it's like a little um, quarter. If you like want something. Yeah, it's like instead of putting in a quarter, they're putting in their Valentine, right? Yeah. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Awesome. Well, I hope that this video was fun for you guys to watch. Again, happy Valentine's Day, and we will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.